What's up everyone? I want to show you guys some of the stuff I did in the back porch, um, out in the yard. Let's go for a walk. All right, everyone, I cleaned up the back porch a little bit, put the chairs there so that I can sit. And when I'm sitting, that's gonna be my view. There's where I'll be sitting and there's the view. I hung up a couple of bird, bird houses that's got bird food in it. And um, be able to watch the birds today over this away in the, the bird bath, there was a um, woodpecker. All right, let's go real quick and take a look and see what all we got. Look at this. Rearranged this a little bit, cleaned it up. Two nice places to sit there, plus the swing. Over there by the swing, Louis dug so many holes, so I had to rake and try to fill in the hole with some of the dirt. Um, so I've been out here just, just cleaning away. Over here, oh, I forgot I put these tomatoes in the um, the bath of water. Gotta take them out now. They're they're drenched. Um, it's kind of bottom watered them. Let me get these out real quick. I um I got all my tomatoes planted. I want to take you back in the garden. I got something special to show you. But yesterday, well, I guess it don't matter. I'll do that later. I want to take you back here. I got a tomato plant there. Got this all cleaned up so now I can walk my path. Ready? Come with me. And then this is all cleaned up. I got to get the ladder thing on the fence to hold the ladder. Um, that part's not really clean, but um, I got it cleaned up somewhat. All right. So I got this on the... Actually, Billy got it for me. He got it on the side of it. But I think that I can slide the pots in here if I put up against the fence and it won't fall out. So we'll see. Um, I put these plants out here because they keep falling over over here. They kept falling over. So I got them by the fence and I got them tied up. Let's go back here real quick and see the garden. I put some elephant ears in here. I hope they I hope they make it. Maybe they'll come back up next year if they don't make it this year. Tyler, did you want some of these onions? Tyler's cooking on the grill. Okay, I have to get some scissors. But there's the onions, um, the carrots. We got lots of tomatoes. Louis going after something. All right. I want to show you guys some stuff. You guys can see I got all kinds of goodies in here. Oh, a bug on me. But what I want to show you is let me. Oh my gosh, I got you guys up so high. Um, let me put this thing down. Some. All right, guys, are we ready? Uh oh, the leg just broke on it. Dang it. All right, we ready? My hip hurts today, guys. I don't know what you're seeing. Oh, you're not seeing me. Oh my gosh. My hip hurts so bad. I can't believe that I just broke the tripod. Right here, guys. Right here, look. Look at the size. I don't know what you're seeing, but look at the size of that. There's, this has got ants all over it. I tried spraying stuff on it and I kind of killed it. Um, this has got one, two, three bell peppers on it. Oh my God, my, my hip. All right, guys, look, you see it? There's three of them. There's a little baby right here. Let's see what you can see. And then there's another one right here. Can you see it? Um, 
There's a couple on here. Look at the green beans. Can you see them? There's so many of them. Both of these have green beans on them. I was so excited when I came out and seen that. Now over here, I, yeah, this is not, what happened was there was ants, so I sprayed vinegar water, diluted, and um, I must have did it when it was too hot. But look, look down there, squash. We got another squash. We got another squash. There's three. There's four, five. There's five. There's five for sure on that plant. Um, one. I think there's one on that one too. Three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness, six squash. I hope I was showing that to you. There's a bunch coming here. This is the green squash. And then over here is some more yellow squash. We love squash. I got a baby coming right there. Can you guys see it? And then the, the grapes did no, didn't do any good. They're not doing nothing. There's so many squash. I hope the ants don't get them. Because I want to eat some of that squash. But I was really excited when I started seeing the peppers. These are last year's plants. All of these are last year. The only ones that are this year are these across the front here. The rest of them are last year's plants and they're producing and luckily I only sprayed that one and that one with the vinegar water for the ants because it looks awful. Down here I have some eggplant. That one croaked. This one's okay. This one might make it. All this is peppers. Um, my tomato plants are getting so big. These were all grown from, from seeds. Um, all of that is cucumber or not cucumber um cabbage all of its cabbage this here is brussels sprouts two of them i have some broccoli finally coming up up there um but that's all for today tyler's cooking on the grill so we're gonna i'm making you guys another video of tyler cooking i have to go get some scissors and come back and get some of them onions So I'll bring you guys out. I'll bring you guys out again soon. What's up everyone? I just woke up. I want to take you out to the garden and I want to show you what is going on out there. Um, I'm really excited. As most of you know, I was in the hospital and I'm home now and um, my garden didn't completely die. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> this is cabbage, guys. It's not doing so good now. I think I think it needed a little cold weather. I might have to pull them out. But I have some in the back that are doing good. Look at that. That is a hollyhock. It's supposed to shoot some flowers up. I got a whole bunch of them. Um... All my flowers here. I got some more strawberries going. I guess I gotta water them. Um, the last batch didn't did not grow. And look at this. This was in a pot that we bought for last year for five dollars. It was in not that pot. Let's see. I think I got a tomato plant in the pot because I didn't think they were ever gonna grow. So when I dumped the dirt out, I grabbed the bulb and shoved the bulb in here, just thinking, well, if it grows, it grows. Look how beautiful. This is my, I think it's a lily. It comes up every year. It's beautiful. What is this? This has got some sort of flowers on it. What is it, guys? I have no clue. Guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, that... This pot here, we got a bunch of these. Henriette bought me a couple and then I bought a couple more. They were $5 last year. And that yellow flower was in it. But it never grew. Alright, so here's my little tomatoes. This is what I have left that needs to be planted. Um, these are the lemon trees. I need to upsize the pots. I still haven't done it. I was in the hospital. I'm growing some more squash. I will tell you guys, or I will show you guys why here soon. These need some water. 
this is not this is not um I got some water right here so that in the mornings I can just water some stuff. Got some more cucumbers going. If you guys remember, this is the, I mean, the plant looks bad. I think it's got some kind of bugs on it or something. Um, this is the, the tomato plant that I decapitated. Look, and it, ca it came back with two, with two sprouts. But I'm worried to put it out there with my other stuff because look at And then over here, I think this is mini pumpkins. Let me see. No, this is cucumber. Oh, I'm going to have to get that in the ground. There's two of them. I got some green squash. Oh, all of it's coming up now. I got to get... I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing out back. All right. Let's see. All right, so we got rid of the big fireplace. Um, my nephew found this little round one on the side of the road, so we're gonna we're gonna fix this up. It has this grate on it too. I just have to fix the grate up and clean it with um, oven cleaner, not the top thing, the bottom thing, and then we can cook on that. Um, I'm probably gonna move this back. I don't know. We kind of had that big gigantic fireplace there. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Look, the elephant ears did not die yet. All the new ones that I planted. Oh, I got to go back and show you guys something. You guys are going to flip out. Oh my gosh. I was excited. Look at my trumpet tree. Look. This is the one that was big last year and then it died when we had that um, heavy cold. It's beautiful. Alright, let's go back to the garden. I'm only getting very little bit done now since I was in the hospital. It's just I have good days and I have bad days. I am going to be talking about that or I probably already talked about it because um, I was going to talk about it in a Wednesday video. I don't know when you're going to see this video. Look at all the tomatoes. Look at the size of them. I got some more little ones up here. Um, a couple of pepper plants. This is my this is my carrots. This is my onions. We eat off these onions. You can tell because it's narrowed out. We eat off these onions all the time. Um, three different tomato plants in here. One of them, I think this one's the cherry tomatoes. Then we have the hybrid and then we have this well we have the steak and we have the the Abe Lincoln. Now over here, look guys. Look. Can you see the baby? <laughs> I'm excited. And while I was in the hospital for, what, four or five days, <laughs> nothing, well, he only watered once. So I guess it was okay. I moved things around a little bit. I'm going to tell you guys why. Look at the eggplant. This is the eggplant. Um, back along the fence is the cabbage. We'll see. This is spinach. Now this one's starting to really come up and look good. Um, I got another bag of dirt here. This is what I'm going to plant tomatoes. Or not tomatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes in this basket. Surely Billy found it for me on the side of the road, the basket. So I'm planting potato potatoes in there. Over here is where I got the, the big pumpkins and the mini pumpkins. And I think I'm going to put the pumpkins over there in that garden and just like spread them out and around you know as they grow I'll just keep them up in the garden um, the reason I moved these peppers out here I still want my walk path but I think I want to make a little garden bed here for my squash my squash is doing so good wait till you guys see it um, look at look at look at my peppers can you see the peppers Look at the size of that. If I need a pepper, I can just come take that one. Look at them. There's so many peppers, and these are all peppers, too, coming up. I'm excited about this. These four are peppers. So somehow, i got to figure out where the potatoes are going, because they have to stay where they're going. 
um, I was thinking right where they're at. But I do, like, there's my squash. But, and I have some cucumbers on the edge. Once that squash dies out, I want my, I want my squash in here, I think. Um, I'd like to move this tree. If I could move this tree somewhere in the yard without killing it, I could have a whole lot more room. But anyways, let's go check out the squash. I about flipped. Look under here, guys. You see the baby squash? I mean, they're not really that small. They're pretty, they're pretty good size. Um, I know it's hard to see. These things poke you. Yellow squash. Back there's another baby, but wait till you see this one. You guys are going to flip. Look at the size of that one. I'm going to put my hand down there so you can see. Look, I can't see what I'm doing. Look at the size of that. It is humongous. I'm going to pluck that soon. I just didn't want to pluck it yet because I want to be able to pluck it and know I'm going to be eating it. There's so many babies in this squash coming up. Tons of them. Look back there. I was so excited when I seen the size of that one. Guys, I thought squash grew up a trellis, but I was wrong. Squash doesn't grow up a trellis. So I planted this right here, and you can see it's already grabbing. This is cucumbers. It'll grow up this trellis. It's already grabbing to grow up. I planted two cucumbers here. Look, that one grabbed, that one grabbed. So that's why I want to get the squash out of here, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to dig it up. I'm going to leave it till it's done. My beans, now this one looks all right. It's starting to come up the trellis. That one over there doesn't look as good. This is more squash. I really want to get this in the ground. Look at the baby squash. I did it in a pot. I think it does way better in the ground. I need to move all this and get some squash in here. We trimmed this tree up yesterday. We got all the bushes off the fence. Um, I can only do a teeny bit. Remember the big cactus that was there? I got it out of here. I didn't really want it in here with my vegetables. I think Henriette took it home with her. It only takes a little piece to start a humongous cactus. Um, Thomas gave me the small pieces and now I have big cactuses out front. But I wanted to show you guys that. I figured you guys would be excited with me. The size of that squash. Hopefully I can do potatoes. I've never done potatoes before. So I have another basket, but I don't know if I want to use the other one too. I might use it for laundry. This one was broke. And um, I'm not sure. I think I need to put some holes in the bottom. So that, that you know, it's not sitting in soft. But then I put it up off the ground. We're going to start potatoes soon. Hopefully I bring you guys with me. we got some dirt to do it. Um, I have to go to the doctor today, so... It's early in the morning. It's not too hot yet. What do I have here? I think this is Brussels sprouts. Maybe I should take these covers off the Brussels sprouts now. It is Brussels sprouts. Maybe they'll take off and grow bigger. And I still have basil and all kinds of stuff growing in there. Some of it died out. But, um, lots of basil. I should have a basil plant in each. See, I have a basil plant in each one of my tomatoes. I've watered them in, um, miracle Grow. Let me see down here. Look at the size of this basil plant. This leaf here, I think it needs to go. There we go. This one's got two basil plants in it. This is a cherry tomato. We'll see how that makes it. So that's all for today, or for right now anyways. Um, oh, let me show you one more thing. You know how you get suckers? You get suckers in between, like in between here, or in between somewhere. Let's try to see where the sucker came from. I think the sucker was right here. I plucked him out of there. And look at this. All I did was push him in the ground. He's already got flowers on him. And then there was this was another sucker that I just pushed right in the ground. 
or in the pot. I'm excited about how big those cactus or those um, cabbages are getting. Hopefully they all sprout. Some of these were lettuce, but nothing came up. See, here's a sucker right here. Get rid of that. You get rid of them suckers so it doesn't concentrate on um, um, taking care of them and it, you know, produces fruit. Okay. I'm not a perfect gardener, but I'm doing my best. And this is just the way I do it. Is it the right way? I don't know. But it's the way I do it. Let me know what you guys think about my garden so far. And what you think about me moving the, um, moving the squash. Remember, I have green squash too. So I think if I put a whole section right in there, I think it would be really good. If I could find a better place for the potatoes, it might be good too. I was thinking over here with this stuff. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out before I plant them. I, I kind of want to move these things out of here. Back out of here. I had them out, out once and then I put them back in. Um, I kind of want to move them out. I think they take up too much space. But, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in them, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I put my little makeshift gate back up because I didn't make a gate yet. And um, I have to put this on the inside because it was killing the grass out here. Yesterday I got all the sticks and stuff out of here. Um, I still have dirt right there. That dirt was on sale um, um, five for 10 at, at Home, Home Depot. I wanna put it around the inside of the tree and then put some pothos, you know, Hawaiian um, pothos that, that gets really big. Maybe it'll go right up that tree. Um, I'd like to put some pothos over there too go up that tree it'd be beautiful I know we had gotten a couple clippings and only a few clippings um, even grew so um, I think I need to, to if I'm gonna plant them I better get it done soon so that they make it through the winter all right that's all for now I gotta water my strawberries look how pretty those are they used to be really bright purple now they're just fading a little bit All right, I'm gonna water the strawberries and I gotta go to the doctor today, guys. I think today's May 8th. I don't know when you're gonna see the video. See you soon.